Sometimes losing weight can feel like an impossible task and oftentimes leads to frustration. We all go through times in our lives when weight gain creeps up on us. Whether it's while we're stuck at home during a pandemic or going through a stressful time at work. Trust me, I've been there. Confused when I didn't get the results that I wanted and feeling like nothing works for me. So I decided to do a 30 day transformation challenge to better understand what it really takes to lose weight and what results we can expect in such a short time frame. All right, here's the plan. I researched how many calories my body used per day. My strategy was to lose weight by both eating less and walking more, adding up to a 500 calorie daily deficit. Compounding that over a week, and I was going to lose one pound per week or four pounds in total over the course of the 30 days. I also downloaded my fitness pal to track my food intake and my weight. On day zero, I stepped onto the scale and my weight was 136.6 pounds. Week one went great. I was hitting all my goals, my steps, my macros, my calories, everything was on point. My motivation was strong. I was determined to get down to my goal weight. But then week two and three rolled around and that for me was the hardest part. So you have to stay on track, but you're exposed to challenges along the way. So you might feel hungry. You might have less energy. You might go out to a restaurant and have to make the right choices. You might feel like binge eating. You might have someone around you that has a food that you absolutely love and can't resist. You might not see your weight go down as fast as you want it and you might not want to do your steps you might not want to go to the gym so these are all the kinds of challenges you'll be facing throughout the month and you need to be ready when those happen you need to think back as to why you're doing this what is your motivation why do you need to push through and how are you going to react when that happens to you I didn't cut any foods out of my nutrition. I always aim to have carbs, fats, and proteins every meal, as much as possible to hit 20 grams of protein per meal. I got most of my carbs from pasta, rice, rice noodles, potatoes, and bread. For my protein, I kept it quite lean. I often would have egg whites and shrimp. I also had chicken as well as Eve's vegetarian products. And occasionally I would have lean beef. And for my fats, I most of the time get my fats from eggs, avocado, or peanut butter. So for my macros, I ended up landing anywhere from 25 to 30% for my fats and protein and for my carbs I was somewhere between the 40 to 50 percent of course it varied slightly day by day in terms of my workouts I was aiming to work out four times a week however I did not always hit that so week one I worked out five times week two I worked out only two times and week three and four I was able to go to the gym three times now the reason for sometimes not meeting my goal was that I would prioritize my steps over my workouts and sometimes if I hadn't done my steps I would just walk on the treadmill for an hour instead of working out Honestly, some days I really didn't feel like doing my steps. However, I pushed through and sometimes I would go to the gym late at night and just get my steps in. At the end of the day, I was able to have an average of 10,000 steps every week. My steps were not consistent every day. There were days when I walked less and days where I walked more, but my end goal was to always have an average of 10,000 steps at the end of the week. Funny enough, getting my steps in the first week was actually the hardest part and then I kind of got used to getting my steps in for the rest of the weeks. For some reason in the beginning when I started walking more, my body was just aching a lot more as well. Uh, so maybe just keep that in mind, push through and you'll see your body will get used to the amount of exercise that you are doing and getting your steps in and walking for that amount of time will get a lot easier. In summary, for the most part, I stuck to my plan. I ate 1,700 calories except for 
uh, two days on the 14th and 15th of February when I went over my calories with about a total of 8,000 calories. In terms of my workouts, I worked out an average of three times a week instead of the four times that I wanted. And for my steps, I did prioritize them. So I ended up hitting my goal of 10,000 steps per day over the 30 days. My weight was trending down for the most part, except right in the middle of my cut when it just shot back up to my initial weight. Um, so I later on realized that that's because of water retention related to where I was in my cycle. So if that happens to you, just give it some time and see if your weight actually drops in a couple of weeks rather than cutting calories too quickly. At the end, I ended up losing a total of 3.4 pounds, which I'm very happy with considering the slight deviations from my plan. That makes sense. And if you don't meet your target weight exactly, just don't beat yourself up. It's not the end of the world. As long as you're progressing towards your goals, that's what matters. Other than your weight, it's also important that you take before and after photos so that you can see how your physique is changing over the course of your mini cut. So for me, uh, I just want to say that this is a very realistic transformation. And what I mean by that is that in the before pictures, I didn't try to find the worst lighting and have the worst posture ever so that you can see a huge change at the end of the 30 days. I wanted this to be realistic. So I shot my videos at the same place every day time um, the only thing is that I was relying on natural light so some days it was sunny some days it wasn't so that is the only kind of variable that was influencing how I looked in those photos when it comes to my physique I do feel that I am leaner on my back around the waist as well as my abs I did notice my arms and lats are a bit more defined however I do find it is hard to see in the photos as for my abs I see my obliques a lot more and I find that I have lost some weight in my love handles the message that I want you to retain here is that when people say that you should be consistent what that means is that by being consistent you can make these kind of small changes in the right direction that over time are going to add to significant progress for example guys I wanted to share a photo of my back from September 2020 so that you can see the progression up to current day you can definitely see that I have put on some size in terms of my lats and overall I can definitely engage my muscles and contract them a lot better. You see some definition in my mid back as well. So here's another photo from 2016. However, I only started working out in 2019 and you could see that in the last five years I have really been able to put on some muscle you see that my body just overall looks a lot stronger if you're looking to start your own 30-day transformation challenge you can take a look at some of the videos that I did documenting both my nutrition and training I'll link all of them down below in the description all right, that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this transformation. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.